Hello there. This is actually my third time trying to record this video. I went down and borrowed my mom's camera because I don't have anything better to record with. But unfortunately, my laptop is broken and so are my, all my cameras are missing, either missing or broken. Including, well, my phone screen is broken. I can't record with my phone. I'm obliged to make a Tao Day video today because it's June 28th and Tao Day is on June 28th. And I'm a math nerd, so I'm probably one of the biggest math nerds out there. You don't want to know how much I like math, just seriously. Let's keep Rule 51 um, and Rule 34 down, but um, essentially, um, if you don't know what Tau is, it's basically twice pi. 2,300 years ago, when the Greeks first discovered and theorized pi, um, they had no n real method of measuring the radius instead of <coughs> the diameter. And nowadays, most of our, our mathematics includes the radius instead of the diameter, big, and it's a little bit senseless to be using pi over tau especially because most of the time when you see pi it comes in 2 pi instead of like just pi alone and even when it is pi alone as in like pi r squared if you derive that you're going to get 2 pi r but it's not immediately obvious that one's a derivative and slash integral of the other but if you use tau and one half tau r squared and tau times r, it's immediately obvious. It also makes the unit circle far more easier. It's just objectively better. You really need to tau tau makes so much more sense than pi. If you if you happen to stumble across this video before you stumbled across my heart's video, I'm going to be mad at you because that means that you did not watch my heart's video first. I don't know, did she make one this year? She normally does. Maybe Number File also made a video. If you haven't watched those two videos, pause this and go watch theirs. They are going to make far better pi and tau videos than me, well, because as much as I am in for the tau manifesto, I don't have access to anything I can make a proper video, because I don't have my laptop, unfortunately. I use my brother's laptop. So, given that, we're simply using an outdated thing, and I'm sorry for being so circular, but I don't have a teleprompter, honestly, so it's not like I'm reading from a script. But it's important to realize what the real circle constant is. There's no such thing as diametrons. Pi isn't based off the diameter, it's based on the radius. And the circle constant based off the radius. It's tau radians to a circle makes so much more sense than two pi radians. That's like me saying, um, oh, let's take, um, let's use 4.9 in all of our equations because a couple of equations, half of the acceleration due to gravity. And have gt squared. Screw that. Let's just use um, P to represent half of G. And be like, okay, PT squared. PT squared. Doesn't make any sense. Also, when you do one half AT squared, it makes it immediately obvious that I say an integral of AT, which is essentially the velocity function, the position function is x sub 0 plus v sub 0 times time times g um, plus 1 half at squared and 
velocity function is v sub 0 plus a times t um, and acceleration is just a. So you can see it drives and constants drop out. Makes so much more sense. And then half well 2a 2pt uh, it, it doesn't make sense to use pi over tau, especially with their current mathematics. Tau. So I'm using tau, not pi. Um, that's just a beautiful subject. And once I get my phone fixed and, like, you know, have a proper... That, that has a decent camera on there. Um, once I actually get a proper camera to let it find my own camera and, like, do everything like that, then I will start making mathematical videos. I'm... I love math a lot. And I love my calculator a lot. This is that right here. I have here, a few days ago, a Mobius strip that just has 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 written all around it. And, I don't know if people have made this before, but this represents infinity. You can even pinch it in a certain way and it looks like a lemon escape infinity symbol. Um, technically it is a lemon escape, but um, you know what I mean. But this is a metaphor for infinity. So you keep adding them up over and over and again. Just keep adding and adding and adding. But eventually you reach infinity. There is no stop. There is no start. Everything is Continually going on and on and on. And that's like golden ratio, have a poster on the floor, another poster on the floor right there. Another beautiful constant, kind of like tau, but even more beautiful because it's seen so many places. 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 about 1.618 polar ratio which is phi don't get confused with pi the doppelganger of a certain constant and it's so beautiful and Golden ratio is seen everywhere. It's nothing like tau. Tau is nothing compared to the golden ratio. I mean, like, god damn it, sometimes that's just so sexy. I don't see how you cannot see that. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but 6 and 28 are. The fear in Europe and, and you know, 6 slash 28 doesn't make any sense to you. Can still, 28 slash 6 can still make sense to you because it's still the first two mathematically perfect numbers um, where the factors of x, not including x, um, add up to x itself. Um, similar numbers uh, is one discovered by, is a type discovered by Pierre de Fermat. Um, called friendly numbers, where you have two numbers, x and y, and the factors of x not including x add up to y, and the factors of y not including y add up to x. Um, and then there's amicable numbers, where you have a bigger friend circle, so to speak. There's just a sense of intense beauty in mathematics, be it in circles, or 
and triangles, rectangles, and nature, being fractals, or whatever he's looking at. But at the most fundamental level, we're all fundamental particles, and at the level, the particles don't have any qualities except for mathematical ones. So, we are nothing but math at the most fundamental level. That's what's so beautiful and fascinating. And today also happens to be my birthday. Um, and I asked for two pies instead of a cake. Turning seventeen, it's not eight. Well, turn seventeen, it's not eighteen. But yeah, I'm 17, going on 18, and in less than a year, I'm going to be an adult. Well, happy Tau Day to you guys. Thanks for being with my terrible video. See you on, well, in another video, but there'll definitely be another math video on Pi Day. Because, I mean, next year's official Pi Day. And... Hey, it's still something worth celebrating. Goodbye.